Hey you guys, before I got into the video, I just wanted to talk briefly about my new ebook, Zodiac Signs Sex Language. Whether you're looking to improve your sex life and your dating life, or if you're just looking to expand your knowledge about astrology, this is definitely the right book for you. This book is meant to help you improve your sex life, your, your dating life, and your love life, your relationships, and to spice it up in the bedroom if need be, um, or to just once again, you know, help you learn more about astrology. So if you're interested in any of these things, if you're interested in learning in learning about the different love languages and the different sex languages of the zodiac signs, definitely look into getting this book, Zodiac Signs Sex Language, written by me, edited by me, and designed by me, Lamar Townsend. So you can purchase this uh, ebook on my website, lamartownsendtarot.com, or you can purchase it on Amazon, on the Amazon Kindle ebook store, all right, or just amazon.com. All right, into the video we go. Thank you for listening and watching. Scorpio versus Aries. Who is the strongest sign? Well, this is an interesting battle because these two zodiac signs are actually ruled by the same planet. Scorpio and Aries are both ruled by Mars, and Mars rules aggression, uh, how we express our raw energy, okay? It rules our ability to get things done, our will to achieve, and our will to, um, you know, move any obstacles out of our way to get what we what we want, right? Now, it's interesting because Scorpio is ruled by Pluto as well, and Pluto rules the subconscious. It rules the deep, dark truths of a situation, place, or thing. So, this is an interesting battle, royal, rumble, fight match we have going on here between these two zodiac signs. Here we have the Scorpion and the Ram. Now... This is an interesting battle because here we have a little bit a little bitty scorpion and then we have a big ram, you know, kind of like Capricorn versus Scorpio. Check out that video. Now, the interesting thing about these two is that they have the same temperament. They both have a streak in them that is very powerful, that seeks to dominate, right? Because Mars seeks to dominate. Mars seeks power in anything that it does, right? Or anything that it seeks to achieve. Like, whereas I was saying in my Capricorn vs. Scorpio video, Capricorn seeks success more so than anything else. Mars really seeks power in any, um, more than anything else. So, <clears throat> this match between these two zodiac signs, excuse me, would be a match of power. Who's the most powerful, all right? Who is the most dominating energy? Now, here we have a fire sign, Aries, very fiery, very expressive, very reactive. And then we have Scorpio, which is a water sign, which is also reactive, but more so in a emotional way, more so in a subconscious way. It's reacting to your subconscious and your emotions, right? Uh, Aries is reacting to your actions, to your your fire that you express yourself, right? Um, however you express that fire. And fire can come in a multitude of ways. Fire being synonymous for aggression, for power, you know, for those types of things. Anger, right? So, this would be a battle ro royal rumble. I mean, this is a hard match Scorpio who is able to once again foresee things that Aries isn't easily able to catch because Aries can be so focused on achieving and charging forward and charging ahead and not really paying attention to what lies you know ahead on the path you know Scorpio who can dig deep underneath the sand while Aries is charging towards it, and then bam, the next thing you know, Aries hits a rock when it meant to actually hit Scorpio. So Scorpio can be sneaky in that way with Aries. Like, you know, Scorpio understands that Aries has a temper, just like Scorpio does. See, Scorpio, the interesting thing and the difficult thing with these two is that they have the same temperament. Different ways, but the same temperament. Scorpio has that kind of anger and... Uh, fight within them as well but they're easily able more easily able i'll say to hide it with that water pluto energy remember they rule the subconscious so it's not a good thing to show your hand with a scorpio you never want to show your hand with a scorpio meaning you never want to show your emotions you never want to show 
your your subconscious, your your intentions, if you want to dominate them, if you want to kind of, you know, win the battle. So, you know, Scorpio can be really good at pushing Aries buttons. Scorpio can be really good at uh, maneuvering and utilizing Aries, Aries' uh, temper, uh, Aries' uh, tendency to explode, you know, tendency to kind of, you know, not be able to handle the emotions that bubble up and then they just kind of, they just explode, they just go off, you know, and Scorpio uses that to their advantage. <coughs> Now, Aries are really smart. Don't get it twisted, all right? Once an Aries, fool an Aries once, shame on Aries. Fool an Aries twice, shame on you, all right? Well, no, let me rephrase that. Fool an Aries once, shame on Aries. Fool an Aries twice, shame on Aries and you. Fool an Aries thrice, three times, shame on you, all right? Like, Aries will eventually wise up and realize what's going on. They will eventually realize, you know, that they need to control their temper if they really want to, you know, win the match. And once they get to that point, you know, Scorpio is going to be in for a shocker because Aries, you know, their energy is going to completely change. You can see it in the Ram's eyes when they know they've got you where they want you, right? So at this point, it's an energy shift. Remember, this whole time, Scorpio has been focusing on the energy, manipulating the energy, and utilizing the energy to their benefit. Remember, Scorpio's Pluto energy, right? The subconscious, all right? Pluto's a water sign, so they are super duper receptive and intuitive with energy, okay? And understanding those kind of... Uh, subtle energetic shifts remember this is also a sign of, of subtlety scorpio all right like they're very subtle in the way they do things and they're very good at catching subtleties okay and in people and situations and things so something that aries may not be the best at depending on the, what they, else they have in their chart remember no aries or no scorpio is the same but the interesting thing about that scorpio energy is that that scorpio energy no matter where it is placed it's strong as is the aries energy though so, by the time Aries has wised up, their energy has shifted, and they are down for a fight. They're ready to win at that point. They understand what's going on. They understand that you've been utilizing their 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 anger uh, towards you, <laughs> and their anger towards losing, and you know, cons consistently um, being beaten by the Scorpio, you know, um, if this is the case, you know, because Aries totally has the capacity to catch Scorpio off guard, you know, um, and stomp him, you know, like at the same time, you know, but Scorpio also, once again, has the ability to really play on Aries' emotions and play on Aries' uh, fiery energy and spontaneity. Uh, to their benefit, all right? So, you know, in this way, Scorpio can kind of stall the situation and kind of keep it going so that they can figure out a way to either win or the, so that they can just get the situation in their own hands, right? Now, an area, a Scorpio can totally go through with this, with this um, plan with no problem, you know, um, stalling, you know, getting the area, utilizing the Aries' energy for their benefit, you know, um, being manipulative and things like that. But if an Aries wises up in progress, well, Scorpio has a problem on their hands because once again, the energy will shift. And at that point, Scorpio will realize that, you know, the power is no longer in their hands. You know, um, you know, Aries at this point is willing to track you down. Like, you know, Scorpio, you can, you know, um, hide underneath the sand if you want to, but Aries will sit there and wait, all right, for you to come up. Because Aries knows you have to come up eventually. You have to eat, you know, you have to do, do whatever it is Scorpios need to do when they come up to the surface. And Aries will be there right, right there waiting for you when you come up to the surface. At that point... They're ready to just obliterate. Remember, it's that Mars energy. So they are the obliterators of the Zodiac, right? And these are the people who just want to go after you to end you, all right? So <laughs> you never want to get an Aries to this point where they just are so angry that they want to end 
your existence all right scorpio at this point it's all about surviving all right it's all about surviving you know at this point it's all about you know kind of realizing maybe i shouldn't have gotten involved in the first place but don't worry all is not for not you know um just as the aries can catch the scorpio off guard knowing that eventually the scorpio has to come up to the surface and by the way aries is totally aware that you may not come up to the surface at the same spot you went down in so they'll be kind of looking you know and and uh assessing the whole terrain for you okay like you know this whole block is aries at that point right so but all is not for naught, okay? At the same time, while Aries can catch Scorpio off guard, Scorpio can also catch Aries off guard, okay? Just the same as Scorpio has to do what they have to do when they come to the surface, Aries has to do what Aries has to do. So Aries has to go use a bathroom like all the other animals, you know? Aries also has to go drink some water, you know, uh, go get some food, you know? So during those moments, Scorpio can come up to the surface, catch Aries off guard, sting, voila right or Aries could totally be using the bathroom eating getting food while at the same time totally scanning the whole terrain for Scorpio so this is really a battle of just being really aware of your surroundings at all times okay being aware of your own emotions as well as the emotions of your opponent, okay? <clears throat> now, this is a lot to, to handle. This is a lot going on here. You have to be aware of your surroundings. You have to be aware of your the, uh, emotions of your opponent. You have to think ahead. It's a lot. I think even a Scorpio who totally has the capability to handle all that would get overwhelmed. Aries, I know, for sure would get overwhelmed, but... The thing about Aries is that once they have a goal in mind, they're pretty set on achieving that goal. So at that point, because Scorpio is much smaller than Aries, uh, more crafty, but much more smaller than Aries, Scorpio really has to focus on surviving and not being ambushed. All right. And also, Aries has to f focus on not being ambushed, but at the same time, not letting Scorpio sneak away. All right. And at the same time, you know, this can also be a battle that can last for years. Like, this is a cat and mouse chase that will last until the cat and mouse end up old and, you know just old you know like this this battle can last for years this can be like a grudge that you know you know you and another person had since you were like in your 20s and now you're in your 40s and when you see each other you still can't stand each other and you're still like oh you're still breathing i thought i ended you years ago you know what can i do to end you right now since we're in the same vicinity you know like you know let me keep my eye on you the whole time like it's that kind of grudge that kind of battle where if you know one of the other doesn't end it then you know it will just go on and on and on you know so where the power is also shifting as well like the power may one at some point be in scorpio's hands but then it switches to aries's hands and then it switches back to Scorpio. it's just a lot going on with this battle so it really depends on the situation and the context of the battle you know scorpio definitely has some benefits to them that allow them to win but aries and that will to to achieve any goal that they set also is is capable of you know achieving great things so <sighs> this is a powerful battle that i would love to see i'd probably you know like i said it would go on and on and on you know it's it's a crafty you know craftiness and power between just straight up power you know who's gonna win you know it's it's hard it's hard to say it's hard to say It's really hard to say. It depends on the situation. Hmm. With that being said, if you would like your own personal psychic tarot reading, I do so many psychic tarot readings, Instagram, tarot readings, email, 
phone, which are a bit more expensive, video readings and more. Also, I do birth chart readings mess <laughs> and messages from you spirit guides. I do individual birth chart readings, compatibility, love compatibility, birth chart readings, regular compatibility, birth chart readings, business birth chart readings, and birth chart readings for your children and more. So check all of those out on my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. I would love to read for you. And I appreciate you for listening and watching. Please like and subscribe. Share with your friends and family. And of course, comment. I appreciate you guys. Namaste, love, and light. Hey guys, thank you for listening and watching. Please hit the like button, share with your friends and your family, and also please subscribe, of course. And if you're interested in my ebook, check out my ebook, purchase it on my website or on Amazon. I would also love it if you would follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, thank you guys for listening and watching, and I'll catch you in the next video, alright?